The sunken duck boat that had become a waterlogged tomb for some of the 17 who died here was pulled to the surface today. Whether it holds any clues about why it sank remains to be seen. But now, an inspector hired by Ripley Entertainment, the boat's owner, is speaking out about the red flags he reported last summer. One issue is uh, the canopy uh, on, on the ducks as well as the curtains that come down the sides. When the curtains are down, there's no way for the people to escape. Stephen Paul says his inspection report questioned the seaworthiness of the boat's design, especially when the roll-up window curtains are down and locked closed, raising concerns about escaping in an emergency. There is escape from the back. If you can imagine being in a, in a sinking ship like that with only one exit, it would uh, be be devastating. He says people trying to get out can be pushed into the canopy by rushing water and trapped. Ripley Entertainment has not responded to NBC News about the report. If I was able to get a life jacket, I could have saved my babies. Today, life jackets could be seen dangling from the roof of the wreckage. Tia Coleman, whose husband and three children died, said the captain told them they weren't needed. They could have at least floated up to the top and somebody could have grabbed them. And I wasn't able to do that. In all, nine members of the Coleman family from Indiana, pictured here just before boarding, died. 17 lives lost in what many are saying was a preventable accident. Ron Mott, NBC News, Branson, Missouri. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.